Hello there, this is Dapsin Ishmael. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to use event to control our carousel. So let's start by creating our carousel. So let's go to toolbox under advanced. Let's click on carousel. Let's draw here. Let's go ahead and change the size of our carousel. So let me change this to that's 970 by let me just make this um, 400 pixels. So 970 by 400 pixels. Let me just close this and make this 400 pixels. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now let me right click on an empty space in my canvas, go to page properties and make sure my page is aligned to the center. So I have that done over here. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now let me double click in my carousel, starting with the first slide. I'll change the background mode to solid and I'll change the color to let's say this is red. I'll go ahead and change the second one to also solid and change the color of that one to let's say yellow. Let me go ahead and change this one to solid as well and change the color to let's say green let me go ahead and change the last one to blue so i'll change it to solid and make this um that's let me go ahead and select this blue i'll go ahead and click on ok now let me go to the options and make sure i change some settings here so the post time is going to be eight hundred eight thousand so i'm changing the post time to eight thousand the animation will be that um, for it circular i'll go ahead and click on ok so that's it we have here now let me go ahead and preview this in the browser so this is preview let me go ahead and move my browser here so as you can see this is how it is like when i go ahead and click on this this takes me to the next um slide i can do that by clicking on this as well but what if we want to have total control over our slide so let's do that by let's go back and double click in our carousel come back to options this time around we are going to um, take off our navigation as well as our pagination we are going to take it off so let's go ahead and click on ok now come back to your toolbox and this time around come to drawing under drawing let's just click on photo some and draw on an empty space here double click on this and let's select um, that's the arrow one of the arrows for our font or some so i'm going to select angle right and i'll click on ok let me go ahead and make a copy of this all right click on it go to that is um copy and make sure i paste that here so I'll go ahead and let me move what I pasted. Double click on this and I'll go ahead and change this to that's angle left. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Let me go ahead and change the sizes of my icons here. So I'll change this to uh, have this that is 82 by 55. Let me just um, minimize it a little bit. Okay, I think this is fine. Let me go ahead and copy this and apply to this as well. So I'll do that. Hit on enter. And let me just move it closely. So now I have my icons here. I'll go ahead and apply my events to them. So I'll first start by double clicking on this icon here. I'll go to events and click on add. So here I leave this on, on click and I click on the drop down arrow by action. By it, I'll select slideshow next. I'll go ahead and select that's my target um, object. So that's the carousel I have here. So this is the index carousel one. I'll go ahead and click on it. Click on OK and click on OK. I'll come to this icon as well, double click on it, go to event, click on add and uh, the same option this time around, I'm going to select um, slideshow previous. I'll go ahead and select my target, that's the carousel. I'll go ahead and click on OK, click on OK. Now let me go ahead and preview this in my browser. So I'll hit on the F5 key and uh, it's going to take a while to preview. So let me just move my browser here and uh, as you can see, if I click on this, it takes me to the next slide. If I click on this, it takes me to the previous slide. One reason why you may want to have total control over your carousel is that you may want to move your um, navigation icons here to different position in your project. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.